Have you ever wondered if it's possible to drive off in an electric car while it's still plugged in? Well, I'm here to tell you, it can be done. How do I know? It's because my wife just tried doing it. Now, to be fair, she was very upset that it happened, and also, fortunately, there was no damage to the car. Uh, this happened about an hour ago. I thought I'd just get out my video camera, figure out what happened so that it doesn't happen to somebody else. And what I discovered is it's possible to take away from a stop in an electric car while it's plugged into the wall, but it takes almost a perfect storm for it to happen. So let's take a look and figure out what happened here. So here we have the charging port on the car and clearly that power cable is not normally bent back in that direction. Uh, fortunately, the car was stopped before it went beyond this uh, and there was no breakage um, right up at the charging port. Now, if we follow the cord here back into the garage, uh, right now the cord is taut and what happened was it actually, the cord went right across a whole bunch of other things and it actually knocked over this wheelchair, a whole bunch of other uh, items that I had from a project I was working on and the noise of that caused my wife to hit the brakes. Um, if she had gone further, um, there probably would have been more damage. And if we look up at where the EVSC is on the wall, uh, it still has power and it is still plugged in. There's no damage to the, uh, the wall 240 volt connection. So the upside of this here is that clearly this could have been worse. Um, you know, there's no broken connection on the EVSC. So after I got a little bit of slack on this cord, I was able to unplug the connector and see that there really wasn't any damage to the EVSC at all. Uh, even better than that, it didn't appear to be any damage to the charging port on the car, which is great because of course that's the more expensive part. This is only about a $250 EVSC. Replacing that part on the car would be a lot more expensive. I do see just a couple little very, very minor scuffs on the body here. Hey, I can live with that. But how would this happen? This shouldn't be able to happen at all because on this connector, we've got five pins. Three of them are for power, one is for communications, and that last little pin on there is actually for a resistor so that the car can sense when this is plugged in even when there's no power to this, even when the EVSE isn't plugged into anything on the other end. You could literally just have just this handle here hanging on, even if a vandal had literally cut the cord. So something else is going on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the car, take a look at the dashboard and see what happened. So if we take a look up at the instrumentation, when the car is plugged in, there's just this little red uh, cord icon. It just shows the car is plugged in, but it's, it's very basic. Uh, and then of course, when you unplug it, that goes away. So here, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I normally start the car. So I uh, just put the key in, put my foot on the brake, uh, turn it to the start or crank position. And it, it looks pretty much like any gas car would. A bunch of lights come on and you will notice on the left, we got a little light that says ready in green on the left. And then uh, the car also went bing, bing, bing when I turned it on. Uh, you'll also see there's no charging plug indicator because the car is unplugged. So right now I can uh, shift it into drive and off I go. So just looking at the dashboard, we can see we have our little red charging light going on down here. And then over here, it tells us how much power we have. We're at about half of a charge right now. So if I put the key in and I just turn it to the on position, You know, you see a lot of those lights come on just like you would in a typical gas car airbag, hey, put your seatbelt on, stuff like that. However, we still see that little charge indicator that's still plugged in and we did not hear our bing, bing, bing or ready light come on. 
Now, another part of all of this is that the charging port is on the passenger side, and that's based on the fact that this car was based on a Japanese right-hand drive gas vehicle. So the Nissan Leaf, that's got the charging port in the front. Pretty much all the other electric cars I can think of have the charging port on the driver's side, the left side of the vehicle. But on this car, you could actually hop in the driver's side and not even see that you're plugged in on the passenger side. But that still doesn't explain how the car was able to move. But if the car is turned on, but not in the drive mode, even if it's taken out of park, it shouldn't have been able to drive forward. So here's what happened there. My driveway isn't flat. It's ever so slightly downhill. So let's take a look at this. I'm actually in the car right now. I'm using a wireless microphone so you can hear me. Um, with the car plugged in, I'm going to try to start the car. And it doesn't actually start. It doesn't say bing bing. I still see that little plug in sign is there, but everything else looks like it's ready to go. I'm going to put the car in drive. My foot's on the brake and I just select to drive on the gear selector. Now, if I just take my foot off the brake as though I'm getting ready to go, now, what I'm doing is I'm watching my charging cord in my passenger mirror while doing this, but if I just take my foot off the brake uh, in an automatic transmission style vehicle, the car should just start accelerating, but slowly. And that's exactly what happens uh, when I start rolling downhill. It's gravity. It's just gravity moving the car forwards. And unfortunately, it can do it with enough power to, uh, rip that charging plug right out of the wall. And in the few moments that it takes for the driver to realize that the car is not on, it's already too late. So let's go back to that original question. Is it possible to drive away in a plug-in car while it's still plugged into the wall? I'm gonna say no, it's not, because that's not what happened here. Uh, what it was was the driver thought the car was on, it wasn't and the car simply rolled downhill. Uh, it was actually the perfect storm of pretty basic instrumentation where it's not totally obvious whether the car is on or not. Um, the charging port being on the side opposite from where the driver is, so there was no uh, visual confirmation whether the car was plugged in or not, and literally being downhill but not even uh, just downhill, but kind of the exact right amount of downhill where even the movement of the car felt very similar to what it would have felt like if the car was in gear and a person took their foot off of uh, the brake pedal. So a very strange combination of things going on in here. Fortunately, uh, there was no damage to either the EVSC or the car itself, which I was very glad about. Uh, so I've never heard of any car other than this being able to pull away uh, while it was still plugged in. I don't know, maybe you guys have. Uh, if you have, uh, please write me, say so in the comments. It's a very interesting thing, uh, especially since gas cars do pull away from gas pumps all the time while they've still got the, uh, the gas hose in there. And that's a real mess and a big, crazy fire hazard. So anyways, I'm just glad that uh, I didn't have any damage to the car here and wanted to share with you what I found out. So until next time, stay charged up and, and don't roll away. The three big one are, uh, the big one, big one? So what exactly happened? I know, weird, right? Okay, we gotta swap the battery. So to start with, this car is a 2012 Mitsubishi. Take three, I don't know.